A great way to stretch the hip flexors is in a kneeling position and in a lunging position. I'm going to demonstrate that right now. It's very simple and it's very easy to show your patients how to do this stretch. In a kneeling position, I like the kneeling position better because the balance, it's easier for the patient to balance. You don't have to have them worrying about shifting all over the place and holding their balance. So in a kneeling position, you can even have them put their hand on a table or on a chair or a bench, whatever they have available. But what you want to do is have them flex the hip, obviously flex the knee, and we're going to be stretching the leg that's in the back. In order to feel the stretch, first of all, we want to have their spine nice and straight, and they're going to shift their body forward, just slide forward just a little bit. They may feel a stretch already, and then have them lean back just a touch, reach up with the ipsilateral hand, and bend to the opposite side. So they're doing lateral flexion to the opposite side. And they should feel a really good stretch in the hip flexor. Now, another way to do that, a little bit more advanced way to do that, is in the lunging position. In a lunging position, obviously we're stretching the back leg, so you will have them lunge. And this one is, is more advanced, probably feel a greater amount of stretch. Again, you want to shift the upper body forward, hold that position, bend back slightly, then reach up with the hips lateral hand, and laterally flex the spine to the opposite side. These stretches can be held anywhere from 5 seconds to 60 seconds, whatever amount of time that you recommend that the patient does it. Stretching should always be to a point where it is just a mild stretch and they hold that. You don't want the patient to overstretch. Those are two very simple stretches that will help with the hip flexors.